are you guys watching this dumpster fire? I mean, this is just unbelievable what's taking place in front of our eyes. So, it turns out that Zoe was negotiating with Justin Posey over the sale and everything else. Jack was just a sideshow, a bitch boy, a stooge. It, it's a joke. Zoe was doing the negotiating with Justin Posey. So remember where Jack said that he got the treasure chest, he brought it to Santa Fe, and he put it in his own vault. But if you look at Zoe's affidavit, she said that she inventoried it after Fenn died. That means the Fens, the Fenn family, always had possession of that treasure chest. And that Jack was nothing more than a media production. They just put a face on a fake find is all they did. And, and Zoe did the negotiating. So Justin Posey wanted to be a star and he got hosed. He got shit on. This is unbelievable. So the family promised Justin Posey in, in the negotiation that they would give him a video of Forrest Fenn discussing the nine clues as well as Jack Stoof in the lawyer's office talking about the nine clues. He never got it. He never got anything. So Shiloh has a statement out and he's saying that Justin is misinformed. That Justin's wrong, he's misinformed. The family doesn't necessarily want to sell the solution. Now ask yourself this, why would the family be selling Jack Stoof's solution if Jack Stoof is the real finder, solver? Why would they be selling it for Jack or for themselves? I'm extremely confused. If I had solved a poem, I would be in control of the narrative. I would be the one selling the solution. Why would Zoe be negotiating anything? Why would the family be involved with the solution Jack solved it? It's his. He could make money off of it with the media. Har, har, har. Jack is completely fake. He was paid to sit in the lawyer's office. It's all fake. So here's the other thing. Justin Posey's chest says made in France on the bottom, and it's from the 1800s. It's a complete lie. The whole thing was a lie. I'm not saying Fenn lied. I'm saying that Justin Posey's chest is not the same chest that's in the book, because publicly Forrest Fenn said 11th and 12th century, century Romanesque lockbox, he said that over and over publicly. Okay, so here's the other interesting thing about this. So, Justin Posey has a fake chest. Now, Capro's going to argue that that was the chest in the book, The Thrill of the Chase, and Forrest was lying. He's been lying this whole time. No, what happened was they staged an event at Nine Mile Hole. They gave Justin a fake chest, a reproduction, okay? And they ended this whole thing, and they used Jack as their stooge. And then they put Forrest on video. So they have a video of Forrest Fenn going over the nine clues at Nine Mile Hole. And this is what I said all along. See, I feel vindicated because I'm a genius. I told Troy Barlow this all along, that this is a fake staged event. They forced Forrest Fenn to end this thing. And they, and they have an alternative ending they're going with, which is Nine Mile Hole. And Forrest is discussing the nine clues at Nine Mile Hole. It's all fake. It's all garbage. And then Shiloh says that Netflix couldn't even afford, not necessarily afford, but people couldn't even afford the solution. What's he even talking about? Your nine mile hole solution ain't shit. It's a joke. And that's the reason why he's saying that he's because he's trying to get out of it. They're net, that video is never going to see the light of day because the whole thing is a sham. It was just a staged ending to end the chase. And you've got Cynthia and K-Pro prattling on and on and on about stuff. And it's like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. So you, you, you pick an alternative ending and then you say these are the nine clues after the fact. How stupid is that? Why would I care to see a video where you're discussing an alternative ending that's not the original spot? It's just a sham. It's, it's so embarrassing this whole ending is. It's worse than a dumpster fire. 
So the family signed up with Netflix to do interviews with Netflix, and uh, so did Cynthia. So the question then becomes, if they're not going to play the Nine Clues video that Forrest Fan made in the lawyer's office, what are they going to play? Why would anyone want to see this? And then Shiloh says something like, oh, they couldn't afford it. They couldn't afford the solution. What is he even talking about? At Nine Mile Hole, you can't afford that. That's a laughable joke. No, let me tell you something, Shiloh. The real solution is out there. The real solver is out there. And if you want to spend some big money, which it's too deep for your pockets, maybe three to five million dollars to get the real solution. Big media deals that you can't even afford because you're a juke. And this ending is a juke and it's worse than a dumpster fire. You guys are an embarrassing juke. The whole thing is just a, a total sham, a total sham. So they signed up with Netflix, but they got no content. Where's the nine clues? Where's Forrest and Jack discussing the nine clues in the lawyer's office? None of that's on Netflix. Nothing is. Now we hear that Shiloh is going to release a book. Why would anyone buy the book? About Nine Mile Hole. Shiloh, you're in the hole right now. You are, you are a million in the hole right now. This is a joke. You got scammed. Did you guys catch that bit where K-Pro said that um, Jack had to sell the chest to Justin Posey because the family told him who he had to sell it to. In fact, he took a cut on it. He didn't even get what he wanted out of it because the family told him what he had to do. And he was pissed about it. Isn't this hilarious? Isn't this a joke? 